Hey guys, Cyberdenna here. In this video I'm going to be doing a little Sephora haul. It was my birthday in February and I got gifted a few goodies. So I just want to try those out now, see how they perform, and let's get into it. So I received the Anastasia liquid eyeliner which Jade the Libra here on YouTube talks about all the time so I'm really excited to try it. I also got the Fenty sort of duo with the mini diamond bomb in How Many Carrots and the mini gloss bomb in Fussy. I've heard Raw Beauty Christy talk about the lip glosses and I'm not much of a gloss person but I want to give it a go so that's why I got the mini. They also had a free birthday gift or a free gift if you used the code Pisces which was this um, nude sticks intense matte lip and cheek pencil in mini bell. I plan on using the shade Scorpio from the liquid lipstick set but I don't know if it's going to be too nude so maybe I will use this that'll come a bit later anyway um, and in my freebies I got two uh, two foundation testers um, this tart one like I'm guessing <laughs> that these are just enough to swatch and see if it matches your skin tone so that doesn't really feel too useful for me and I got the Sephora collection one I ordered the shades 10n and 20n or something like that and I got shades 25n and or 25 and 30 which um, are nowhere near my skin tone I, I ordered the light ones because I am pale and I really wanted to try them and see if they were going to be a close match but I guess not so oh well anyway let's get into the eyeliner I really suck at trying to film myself doing eyeliner because it takes forever and I'm always like moving and have the mirror like here so we'll try to not do that so this box is like a really nice soft touch it's like the Jeffree Star Supreme frost boxes and the liner is just in a little purple tube I did get the color black because that's all I really use and it has a sort of foam applicator so I'm just going to do a wing It is a fit pretty firm texture which I have pretty like moving eyelids I have a lot of skin so it can be good and it can be bad so I'll have to keep on playing and see how that goes from here it is very black and so far that's been pretty easy compared to some that I've used. Actually because it is firm I can actually do what everyone else seems to do and just pull it in which doesn't normally work with my eyes. So even when I immediately open my eye it doesn't look like there's any immediate transfer which is really good because I hate having to do a wing and just sit like this for like five minutes waiting for it to dry. So now I'm going to try and do that on the other eye. Thank you. 
it can smudge if it is still wet so while it does dry fast it's not instant I'm just gonna try and even those up because as it always happens they're nothing alike So first impressions of that is that is quite nice like I said it does smudge a little bit but well it transferred I don't know if it smudges that'll be the real test I do have oily eyelids so if it can last all day without smearing into my crease that would be great it doesn't seem to be cracking or anything which is also nice so so far so good so let's get into highlighting with this this is the cutest little highlighter I've ever seen it has a mirror and it's just beautiful this is gonna be great for putting in my handbag and stuff like that which is my plan So I'm just going to take my normal highlighting brush and just dab, dab in a couple of times. I'm not going to go too ham, maybe. And I'm just going to apply that to the high point of my cheeks where I'm sort of getting a bit of glow naturally. It is quite a glittery product. So if you don't like glittery highlighters, then this is not for you but it does also really give that wet effect to the skin it's going to add a little bit to my chin a little bit to my brow bone with a smaller brush i'm just going to highlight the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow so far both of those products seem really really nice i'm just going to apply my lipstick and then we will try out the gloss bomb alrighty so just to see what happens i'm going to try that nude sticks just sort of on the center of my lips just a little I kind of just gave it a little bit more of a pinky tone, which really works with this eye look. And now I'm going to pop on the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fussy. That smells really good. It also has like <laughs> the biggest doe foot in the world. It's like half of the bottle is just the doe foot and I'm just going to pop just a little bit in the center of my lips that is really thick oh god okay I'm just going to apply that and I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out because that is thick and I don't want a bunch of gloss on she thick but it's not sticky so that is big bonus I don't mind that too much and that color looks really pretty with this so I'm happy alrighty guys and that is the look completed with the Anastasia eyeliner the nude sticks and the Fenty gloss bomb and diamond bomb if you want to see this eye look and face look then there'll be a link up in the corner it with me testing out the bloodlust palette if you guys enjoyed watching make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below alrighty I'll see you soon bye guys more thunder just started up and that is gonna be annoying because I don't really feel like having another storm I like the rain, but I don't like it when it storms all the time. Can 
can I just here and just say that this is all different videos because I'm lazy as hell.